Hi guys, Linda Hobson with Empower Network, Team Empower You, spending a beautiful day in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, listening to some audio on my uh, iPhone and thought I'd cut another video. Um, I had a couple of people ask me um, a certain question uh, in the last few days and so I thought I'd um, make a video uh, regarding the question. And the question is, is this easy? Um, I'm going to take the opposite approach. Is it hard? Um, well, in comparison to things, you have to take it in, you know, into uh, the whole realm of things. Um, is it harder than sitting on your couch and doing nothing and not getting paid anything? Yes. Um, is it uh, harder than becoming a brain surgeon? Uh, no, it is easier than that. Um, and I am going to tell you uh, a little bit about my past. I actually have owned a, what they call a brick and mortar business before, uh, where, you know, I had a retail, uh, business space in a strip mall. And let me tell you, that was hard. Um, I always wanted to be a business owner and I thought, uh, that this, um, particular business was uh, the answer to my entrepreneurial spirit calling me. And uh, it was an embroidery business. We did logo, logoed apparel, uh, um, promotional products, you know, all those pens and, and highlighters and paper clips that have business names on it. We did all that. And, um, you know, we did it out of a retail space so that we could also do embroidery work for uh, grandmas who wanted, you know, baby blankets made and, and uh, grandma shirts with all their grandchildren's names on it, etc. And um, so not only was I, you know, spending a lot of money, um, you know, they, a lot of people also say, well, you have to, there's, there's money to this. This is a scam. Well, any business has overhead. You want to talk about overhead? My retail space rent was $5,000 a month. The equipment I had to uh, to run the business, the embroidery equipment, the computer equipment, a cash register, a charge card machine, uh, uh, cases for a display. Um, we had to have a, a security system so nothing got stolen. Um, that that all was over a hundred thousand dollar lease for that equipment. And um, so we were in a retail space and we were working really hard and we were um, actually uh, in competition with companies who could do the same thing we were doing, but in a, a wholesale space. And for those of you who don't know about retail or commercial real estate, uh, um, warehouse space or wholesale space is a lot cheaper, but you don't have a retail front door. And um, so we're competing with people that are in a warehouse or a even doing work in their basement. So they can undercut my price because I have to build in that I have a retail space and equipment lease. And um, so, and then on top of that, we were in um, a, a strip mall that had a grocery store in it, a very large a regional uh, grocery store in it. And as our business was building, because I was out pounding the pavement, you know, calling on businesses to see if they would need any logoed apparel or um, promotional products, um, the grocery store workers had a, went on strike. And I understand the, you know, the whole premise behind the strike and, and all of that, but um, our business was in its infancy, so it was building uh, when the strike happened, and um, businesses around the area that I was uh, marketing to would not cross the picket line, which meant that even though I was in their building saying, hey, you know, love to do, you know, uh, screen printed shirts or uh, embroidered shirts for you or pens to pass out to clients, um, because I was located in the same plaza as a grocery store where the workers were on strike, they could not do business with me. And unfortunately, um, that just crippled our building of our business. And we had to close after trying to 
once the uh, strike was over, we did try to fight back from that and just could not climb out of that deep of a hole. And so if you want to ask if this is hard, no, this is not hard. That was hard. That was hard to see my husband's face thinking that he failed um, because he couldn't get us out of the hole that uh, we were in because of that. Um, we put all our heart and soul into that business um, because we both wanted to be entrepreneurs and we both thought this was a good opportunity for us. And so when um, we present um, Empower Network, like um, people like myself, and it's only $25 a month to get started and you have the opportunity to just put in some effort and be teachable and you have the you know, of course, there is an income disclaimer um, that Empower Network has, but um, and it's on their web page. On uh, every page of their website, the disclaimer is located a uh, little at the bottom. You can just click on it and see it at any time. Um, so we cannot guarantee uh, income. It is illegal to do that. However, um, you have such a great opportunity, a great pers uh, chance to make not only good income, but fantastic income beyond your wildest dreams for the beginning of $25 a month. Um, my credit card processing in that brick and mortar business was more than $25 a month. And we made nothing because we never got beyond what the overhead was for that brick and mortar business. So when um, someone asks me, is it hard or is it easy? Um, you know, sometimes I want to just shake my fist and say, if you knew what I knew, um, but they don't know what they don't know. And so I want to just tell you that, please, if you want, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit and you want to put a little effort in and get um, and get something out of it and be able to be truly free. When you have a brick and mortar business, you basically own a job. You don't own a business with this. You can own a business and still be free. You not only leverage your money, you also leverage your time. And because uh, you can, you don't, you only have to work it with it a, a one or two hours a day. And after it gets up and running, it, it even gets less than that because you can kind of just m maintain it and and build it and help your um, downline build as well. So, um, so if you're interested in finding out more about Empower Network and how um, it's not hard, uh, click on the link below, and I would love to tell you all about it. Thanks, and have a great day.